A man standing on the line joining the two poles finds the top of the poles make an angle of elevation of 60 degrees and 45 degrees respectively. After walking for some time towards the other pole, the angles change to 30 and 60 respectively. Let's draw this diagram. Two poles. Right? Angles are 45 and 60. Let's say this is 45. This is 60. Say hi, H1, H2. And then after walking for some time towards the other pole. So how angles change to 30 and 60. And so you move towards one pole. Suppose you move this side. This 45 will keep on increasing. 60 will keep on decreasing. If you move that side, 60 will keep on increasing. 45 will keep on decreasing. Angle is not increasing beyond 60. So we are moving this side. Or we are moving to some point here such that the 45 degree angle becomes 60 and this angle is 30. Okay, done. I'm going to call this A, B, C, D, P and Q. I'm going to think of this line B, D as BQ plus QD. BQ is H1, 45 degree angle. QD is H2 by root 3. Tan 60 is root 3. H2 by QD is root 3. Or QD is H2 by root 3. Done. Next one. This is 60 degrees. BP is H1 by root 3. PD is H2 into root 3. The moment we write this down, we are through. In all of these questions, remember the ratio uh, in a 60, 30, 90 trigger. The, the tan ratio is 1 is to root 3 or root 3 is to 1. The simpler way to remember, opposite the 60 degree angle is root 3. Opposite the 30 degree angle is 1. Six, opposite 60 degree angle is the longer side. So if you take this as 60, this is the longer side h1 by root 3. This is 30, this is the longer side h2 into root 3. So into root 3 by root 3. That's all we need to think about. For 45 degree angle, life is simple. Isosceles right angle triangle, mark it down. We need to find the ratio of the heights of the pole. We need to find H1, H2, H2. H1 plus H2 by root 3 equals H1 by root 3 plus H2 root 3. Write that down. H1 plus H2 by root 3 equals H1 by root 3 plus root 3 H2. Bring H1 to one side. H1 into 1 minus 1 by root 3 equals H2 into root 3 minus 1 by root 3. Or H1 into root 3 minus 1 by root 3 equals H2 into 3 minus 1, 2 by root 3. Or we are looking for 2 by root 3 minus 1 or root 3 minus 1 by 2. Got that done. Root 3 minus 1 divided by 2, that's the ratio of the heights of the two poles.